Hi guys. So today we're gonna do question one point one point five from this book, cracking the coding interview. So question one point five. Uh, the the question basically says there are three types of edits that can be performed on strings. Insert a character, remove a character, and replace a character. Give it, now here's the question. Given two strings, write a method to determine if they are one edit away from each other. So here are some test cases. Two strings, pill and ple. You should return true because all you have to do is insert a into pill into ple and they and they're the same thing. Pills and pill remove s. I mean add s insert s to pill it becomes pills. So it's true. Pill and kill replace the 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 k with a p yeah so oh yeah the k with a p and then they become the same thing so that's only one edit uh pill and pills as well remove the s now here's false pill and bake here you got to replace the p and then you also got to replace the l just so they can match so that is two edits so that is false so we're basically writing a code that can that can function like this. All right, so my algorithm is it's it's um it's not that difficult. I'm going to show you before I write it. Let me make this bigger if you can't see. There we go. So the algorithm that I want to first do is this: if the strings are identical to each other, then then you should return false because then it's there, there are zero edits. So if they're identical, then there are zero edits. So if the strings are identical, then return false because that's zero edit. The that's zero edit. The next thing I want to do is create um <clears throat> create character maps. Create character maps of both strings. The third thing I want to do is check if each character are the same type and value. Check if each character. I, I, I'm going to explain this. Check if each character, each character are of same type and value. So if they are not, then increase it. Increase the counter. If the counter is two or more, return false. If the counter is two or more, then return false. Now, else, the last thing, return true. Okay, so it's not so difficult, but let me explain to you what I mean. So here is this case here. Pill and P-L-E. So here's the character map of that. Pill, uh, pill. A, E, L, P. Here's the character map. How many P's are there? There is one. One L, one E, one A. Let's do the same thing for PLE. Here's a character map for PLE. Let me write that here. PLE. And this one is pills. P in a pill. So this one has no A. So I'm so number two is create character maps. So I'm gonna create this. That's a character map. That's what I mean. That's step two. Step three, check if each character are the same. So basically I'm gonna so the so basically I'm saying there's gonna be a counter. I'm gonna create a variable called counter. Something like this. Let counter equal zero. Something like that. And then I'm saying so check if each character has the same type and value so it's going to start with the first one a there is one in this one it's going to check if there is an a that exists here and also if the, if the a only has one of it if it's true that that is the case it moves on to the next character if it's false that it doesn't have it increase the counter by one so now because it doesn't have it for that one counter now equals one then it moves to E. Oh, it checks the E over here. It checks this E over here. It, it sees that the E's are the same, and it has one one. 
So it moves on to the next one. Checks the L. L is fine. Checks the P. P is fine. So given that all of that is fine, and counter is, and and counter is um is less than two, it returns true. It only returns false if counter is two or more. And it's that's that's the code. It's really not that difficult. So let's start coding. Okay. So the first thing is I'm gonna create I'm gonna create the one away thing. One away. I'm coding. Somebody just text me. Beautiful. Okay. All right, so one away. Sorry, guys, I had to respond to a text from my wife. So one away. So it takes string one, string two. Oh, no, see? Now I, I got my head all. Okay, so one away equal. Sorry. Beautiful. All right, so first thing I want to do is check if the strings are identical. That's what the first thing says. So we'll say if... String one, JavaScript has this directly there, so identical to string two. If the identical return false, honestly, because then it's zero edits. Return false. Done. So we're done the first one. Next, I want to create character maps. So I'm going to create the character map outside. Const get, no, not get, just say character maps. Char map. Takes a string. So we say let object equals this, and then we say for do a for loop let i of string. So for then we're gonna check. Then we're gonna say if object of i does not exist. This is how you create a character map, by the way. Very simple way of creating a character map. If it does not exist. Set it equal to one. If it does exist, increment it. That's it. Then you return. Then you return the object. So that's so we we're done with the character map. Finito. Okay. Next, I'm going to check if each character of the same type and of the same value. First, let me bring the characters. Of, let me call them in. Const uh, object one equals character map of string one so we, so we're getting that and then we're getting the second one object two equals char map string two and don't forget the counter we need the counter all right beautiful so now to check if this is all true all we need to do is so we'll say a for loop for let instead of uh the let of loop we're gonna do the let in loop let in objects because we're checking in the object not in the string object one we're gonna compare object one to object two so let in object one so we're gonna say if object one it does not equal to so object two does not equal to object two if it does not equal, increase the counter. Like I showed you up there. Well, I erased it now. That's if it does not equal. Now, else. If it does equal, if. Actually, no. Not if it does equal. Else, if. If the counter is greater than 2. If the counter is greater than 2. Greater or equal to 2. Then you want to return false, actually. Return false. That's all. And then outside all of this, return true. That's it. I think I think so anyway. It should work. Let's try all the test cases. First one is PL and PLE it should be true. Well I have to call it first, obviously. So console.log. So one away. 
So we're going to try PL and PLE. But because we're going to keep changing the words, so let me just make the words. Since I'm going to keep changing it, we'll call it W1 is PL const W2 is PLE. So W1 and W2. Okay, so let's try that. So we're expecting true because they are one away from each other. So node, let me see, am I in the right, I should be in the right directory, test. True, yay, we got true, as you guys, as you guys can see. So let's try another one, let's try the false one, pill and bake, because they are two edits from each other. Both of them are two edits from each other. You have to replace the, the B with a P, and you have to replace the K with an L. So the goal is only one edit, so that's two edits. So pill and bake. Let's try that, it should be false. False, yay, it's working, beautiful, false. Okay, one more test case. Let's try the pill and pills. Pill and pills. Again, that should be true because it's only one edit. Remove the S. True, yes, that's correct, it's true. All right, so again, the code is pretty simple. Hope this helped. Um. If, if you enjoyed the video, please like the video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you. Goodbye.